Hey guys, we get a lot of questions on what's the best housing on the market today. Really, there's no clear answer, but what we're gonna kind of do is give you a guide on the two main types of housings on the market right now. We have fixed bridge systems, such as the RPNVG, the RNVG, the Anvis 9s, systems like that that don't have the ability to, to articulate. And then we have systems such as the 1431, 31 alphas, Elbit 5032s, Katanas, and the list goes on and on on different articulating housings. Look guys, it's 2023, almost 2024. There's really no reason you should be purchasing a fixed bridge housing unless one of the specific features suits your needs, such as the RPNVG's panning feature or the RNVG's ultra ruggedness. Other than that, we really try to push, push customers to articulating systems just due to their pricing and weight, and you get more bang for your buck. You get a lot more features with them. So I have a helmet here to show you guys kind of the main differences in these systems. So with a fixed bridge system, you're essentially gonna be stuck in two positions, your up position and your down position. You really don't have anything else, and if you wanted to use something like a thermal optic on your rifle, you wouldn't be able to do so with it down. You'd actually have to flip it up and have it kind of really out in front of you. With an articulating system, what it allows you to do, this is a Nocturne Industries Katana, you're able to flip it out of the way and get behind your optic. Or if you have it on, if you're a left-handed shooter, you can flip the left one up. Most of these systems all have auto pod shut off, so this pod here will turn off while you have it flipped up. And while the helmet is in its stowed position, Instead of having the center of gravity so far forward, you can actually rotate the pods out and kind of move that center of gravity back. Through my experience, that's a lot more comfortable if you're doing long night hikes, anything like that where you're not actively using the night vision device. It also moves some of that mass from the front further back. So if you're getting in and out of cars, um, helicopters, anything like that, it's nice to be able to move it out of the way. Look guys, again, if you're looking for a super ruggedized housing, I would definitely go for the RNVG. You can run it over with a car and it's probably gonna be okay. Or if you're looking for panning, RPNVG. But other than that, I really think that you guys get a lot more features and bang for your buck with any of the articulating systems on the market. If you guys have any questions, feel free to reach us via our live chat feature, email, or phone number, all on our website, steelindustries.com. And remember, stay off target.